everyone, it's Kathy. Thanks so much for joining me. So I have the final two alternative card projects to share with you featuring the March 2020 Paper Pumpkin Kit. So we're just going to jump right in. Starting off, I needed a three and a quarter inch circle. So I'm just using this ribbon uh, holder spool, if you will, from Stampin' Up. It was perfect for this project. So we're just going to trace the circle instead of pulling out your dies, but if you have it, you can very well do that. And then with my ruler, I'm just looking for the center and we're gonna map out quarter sections. And then I drew in the center of each one of those quarters, but then I realized that that's not gonna work. So inside each of the quarters, you're gonna create three more sections. In total, you're gonna have 12 sections in this circle. Okay, so we're just gonna hand cut this piece out. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna cut across each of the sections. So we're gonna cut straight across. So this is gonna be, I don't know what you would call this, a 12 <laughs> All right, the colors we're using is what is written on the back of the instructions other than I substituted um, the green color with granny apple green. And the way I colored this is based off of the picture that was on the card base. So I'm using the Stampin' Right markers and when I'm coloring it, I basically go straight up and down, but you'll see that I kind of go off of that rule. <laughs> and, uh, and I do end up creating extra little lines, but I don't mind it too much. Uh, it's going to fade just a little bit, and I think it adds a little bit of character to the umbrella too. For the center of the umbrella, I'm using the black just to create a little dot. All right, so now we're just gonna raise this piece with some dimensionals. I think I was a little bit overzealous when I cut back the piece because I could have gone down just a little bit lower, but it turned out fine. And then with Calypso Coral, I'm just drawing in the arm to extend that, a little bit of shading with Smoky Slate, and then I do hit it quickly with an acro brush just so that it lightens it up and blends a little bit better. All right, and then we're just gonna cut back the excess on the right side of that panel, and then I do cut out the body part entirely. Now we're going to create a little puddle using that stamp with the lines. And yes, I was coming down a little bit too low there. And then with my pencil, I'm just drawing out that puddle. And then I thought I'd shade it in a little bit with whatever blue I had left. So I was kind of happy with that. And then I decided to use the uh, balmy blue fine tip and just trace out that puddle. And then with more balmy blue added to the sponge dauber, I'm just darkening up the left side of that section there. Just be sure to leave some white areas so it'll give it some depth. All right, so moving on with the cloud stamp, we're gonna add some clouds at the top of this panel. And I tried to go with some lighter colored clouds, so I did stamp off, but it didn't quite turn out that way. But I think it's all right. And then with the sponge dauber with the same color, I'm just laying down a very light color on the panel going down towards the bottom, but I do leave a little area at the bottom because we're going to hit that with some smoky slate, just, just so that um, the panel looks somewhat finished. And plus we want to define that puddle just a little bit more. 
Okay, now we're going to stick down the main piece, starting off with the corner, making sure that it's lined up nicely. Okay, and then I do end up taking off a quarter inch on the right side of this panel, and then I mounted it onto a Pacific Point card base. And then I stamped the sentiment with Knight of Navy, and then I added three of the round, clear, what do you call those things, dots that came in the kit. I don't know why I didn't use the raindrops, but I just used the round ones. And then I stuck it onto a top folding card base. So that's the card. I really like how it turned out to create a full-size umbrella. Well, pretty well full-size. <laughs> all right, moving on to card number two. We're using the stamp that has all the dots on it. And then we have two of the floral die cuts. And then the card panel is the other half of the first card that we made. That's cut down to three and a half by four and three quarters. And then using the stamp with the dots, we're just gonna stamp out a little border around this entire panel. Just be sure to try to stamp straight across. I'm not totally perfect, but it'll do. And we're just gonna finish off that center bit there. I don't think it was quite connected. And then I brought in the two floral pieces just so I can gauge where to stamp this sentiment. And then with the floral die cuts, now you could skip this part, but I decided to do it because I like my flowers to be a little bit more punchy. So I basically use the cherry cobbler to darken up the center of the flowers and then melon mambo to Kind of blend everything out. So this one here I've finished completely and I'm just going to show you the other one which I kind of started. So there's the, I think that one flower is not done. So I'm just going to finish that one off and then add some cherry cobbler to each of the centers of that particular die cut. All right so we're finished and I think it looks a lot better. And now we're just going to stick the two together. You just need to decide which way you want to stick it. And after I did this, I wasn't sure about that very center part where it connected. I think it would have been just fine leaving it alone, but of course I did not. So I did fuss a little bit more. <laughs> I did sacrifice one of the die cuts. I did try the flower that had a stamp. It didn't work out too well. And so back to this piece, I cut it out. I fussy cut it out entirely, including the border. And I just didn't like how I placed it. So I would have turned it completely all the way around. So the petal kind of sticks out more on the right side instead of having that kind of straight up and down look. But nonetheless, I did fix that off screen and I didn't include a final still. In addition, I just stuck down a little bow that I made with the twine that came in the kit. Just stuck that down with some glue dots. So that's the extra fussing. You guys could have very well just left it alone and called it a day. Uh, I'm sticking this down onto a Calypso Coral panel and then onto a side folding card base, which I did not do. So we're jumping into the stills of each of the cards and we're done. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for joining me. Until next time, stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.